everybody and welcome back to my channel. So I filmed the Ulta haul of these exact products but I did not like that video so I wanted to do another one. So this is going to be the same products, same haul, different video. So if you watch that first video it's just going to be the same stuff and hopefully I can go through this a lot faster because I took the packages off of most of this stuff. And I put a little bit of makeup on. Um, I can leave more information about exactly what I'm wearing but that's about it for the intro and we're gonna go ahead and start getting into these products I'm not gonna go in the same order that I did with the other video it's just random all I have all the stuff in the box and I'm just gonna grab stuff but the first thing I already have sitting right here is this elf BB cream is in the shade dark and I actually have it on my face right now and honestly it has good coverage, I would say if you're going for like a light look, but because of the sunscreen inside of it, I feel like it leaves my skin really oily and I do not like that. But I'm sure I can put some powder on it to kind of fix that. But yeah, so this is what it looks like and this is how it looks on my skin. Um, it is a little bit lighter, but I feel like when you work it in, it comes off a little bit better. But if you're a shade darker than me, this will not work for you, even though this is the dark shade. So that's that. Next product is going to be this e.l.f. Pore Refining Brush Mask and Tool. And again, like I said yesterday, I just wanted something that way I want to keep digging my hands into my mask or putting on my fingers and getting it in between. So you have like the silicone spatula and then you have the brush on the end. It's like a little bristle brush. And I think it's supposed to be used to like clean on your face. And so I'm glad I bought this. I've seen videos on it. And I was like, I need to have one. Especially since I love masks so much. And I can't wait to use that. And I think I'm going to try to start filming without my glasses. Because the glare, I do, I do not like that. So hopefully I'll be able to film without my glasses and still see everything. Okay, so next we're going to get into these NYX Ultimate palettes. And I have, this one is Sugar High. And this one is Smoke Screen. And I think I actually like Smoke Screen better just because I like darker or cooler tones. So I'm just going to swatch these green shades right here just to show y'all. I think the color pigmentation on these are like amazing. And I like how they have shimmer, glitter, and luster, and matte shades because you need to have matte shades in the palette, I believe. That's what the shades look like. It has great color payoff. And I just cannot wait to use these. The only thing I will say is every time I look on the Ulta website and see NYX palettes, I always think they're going to be bigger, but now I know that they are small palettes, but they're pretty thick, so hopefully there'll be a lot of product in there, and it's just not like tiny little palettes for like $18. Next, I have this Garnier Active Micellar Cleansing Water, and this is even sensitive, and I just got this small travel size. Just so when I go places, I don't have to carry a big old bottle around with me because sometimes that takes up a lot of room. And this right here can fit perfectly even in my purse or even in like my little carry-on bag. So I like that. Plus, I like the micellar water from Garnier. It works really good taking off my makeup. Next, for Makeup Revolution, I have this brush palette. And it says Brush Palette Queen. And I do like this palette, kind of. It's just that a lot of these blushes are shimmery and I do not like that because I like my I don't want my brushes to be like my highlighter. I want them to be kind of on the matte side. I just swatch one. You see how it kind of looks like a highlighter. I put one on my face and I kind of blended it in. It doesn't look bad, but it does look kind of glowy and I do not like that. But I'm sure I can work with this. Also, it has a little bit of fallout like on inside this little lid right here and even around the palette so we'll see how that works because I, I don't like getting makeup all over like my bags and stuff so we'll see how this works next from bliss I have the fab girl six pack and this is a 4.9 fluent ounce container and I think it's like a liquid but the directions say to the pot apply it directly on the skin you have to press down to dispense a gel and you're supposed to massage it in the, in the midsection in circular motion twice a day for 20-30 seconds. And so because I am starting to lose a little bit of weight, I did want to get some stuff like this to work with that. And also because I saw something where it helps with um, stretch marks, I wanted to try that and see how that would help with my progress and with me losing weight. So. Also from Bliss, I got the Fab Girl Love Handler. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and open this box because I didn't open it yesterday. So this is what it looks like, and this is a liquid as well. This is 8.5 fluid ounces. And these products both specifically say this is not a weight or fat loss product. It's supposed to just help. So if you diet and exercise and use this, it should all work together. But this is supposed to target the waist with energizing extended release caffeine and a cool burst of mint oil. So it says twice a day for 30, 20 to 30 seconds, massage a silver dollar size amount of all the gel all the way around your waist, including your back. And so I'm excited to use both those products together. I'll probably use one at a time just so I know which one is actually working the best for me. Next, because I'm a face mask fanatic, I had to get some mask, and this time instead of getting like mud mask and stuff, I got sheet mask, and I got all of the Garnier Super, I mean Moisture Balm Super Hydrating Mask. And so, these masks all have different like things that they do. So this green one is supposed to be mattifying, which I definitely need. I have very oily skin. This lighter pink one is supposed to be the soothing one. The darker pink one is the glow boosting one. This blue one is the original super hydrating mask. And then the purple one is the anti-fatigue, which I could use that too because I am tired. That's why my eyes look like this. I am like tired. I finally start working full time and I'm not used to it. So I'm excited to use these because I do love a good sheet mask, even though I love mud mask because they get the oil on my skin. I do like a good sheet mask, especially when my skin is feeling very dry. This is perfect for me. Next, from Chic Intuition, I have the Coconut Milk and Almond Oil Razor, and I have three cartridges. And this one comes with one on it and a second cartridge, so I have a total of five cartridges and a razor. And I wanted to get a razor that wasn't disposable just to see if it works better than disposable razors. I read in a lot of reviews that People didn't get cut when using these, and their skin felt really smooth after shaving. So I wanted to give this a try. I've never had a non-disposable razor. My mom always bought us disposable razors, and so did I. So I am very excited to try this out and see how it works. Next, one product that I was really excited about was these Vitamask. These are sleep-in masks, and what made me so excited about them is the packaging. I didn't see the packaging like this when I ordered them from Ulta, but when I got them, that's when I saw how cute this packaging was. What intrigued me about getting these was that they were sleep-in masks, and I wanted to see how a sleep-in mask works. So, I got, this is the pearl one. This one is, obviously, egg, and this one is avocado. And so what you're supposed to do is mix the cream and the gel. If you look right here, you can kind of see that white is the cream, and around it is the gel. You're supposed to mix it together put it on your skin, let it work and absorb while you sleep overnight. You're supposed to just put it on your face, let it absorb. I never tried a sleeping mask and I want to see how it works. So I'm really excited to try all three of these masks. I cannot wait to try these. Next from Bare Minerals, I got the Take Me With You 3-Piece Complexion Rescue Try Me. And the reason why I got this was because of the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue. I've been wanting to try this ever since I saw the video on it because I love their foundation and I wanted to find something that was an alternative to a foundation, kind of like a BB cream. And so when I saw the video on this, I was like, I think I need to try this. And so I got the shade Chestnut 09 and I do not know how it's going to work on my skin yet, but when I try it, I can definitely do a video on it. But this kit came with the Complexion Rescue, with this brush right here. Which is very soft and it came with this blush and I think this is a nice size blush and this is in the shade Golden Gate. I don't know if you can see how it looks but I am excited to try this kit. Now I know a whole thing of Complexion Rescue is like $29 and this kit was $39 but I just wanted to try it out and plus I get a blush with it so I think it's a great deal. And it just came with a little sheet that tells you how to use the products and stuff. So, cannot wait to try that on my skin. Next, because of the two Bliss products I bought, I got a little sample. And this is the, yeah, the Bliss Triple Oxygen Energizing Vitamin C Day Cream. And so, I'm excited to try this because I do like creams, even though my skin is very oily. I do like a good moisturizer that actually makes my skin feel good. 
So, cannot wait to try this. Next, because I wash, I wash my baby lips in the washroom dryer and it is no more. I want to get some more moisturizing lip products. So, from Pacifica, I got two lip balms. This one is the Rainbow Sherbert. And this one is the Summer Kale. And I cannot lie, the packaging is really what made me want to buy these because I just think they look so cute. And I like carrying cute stuff around with me. But also, the smells of these are amazing. And I feel like they're going to be super moisturizing for my lips, which is exactly what I need. Especially in the summertime, especially with wearing a lot of matte lip colors, my lips get very dry. And so, I need something very moisturizing. Next, from e.l.f., I got this highlighter in the shade Pink Diamonds. And it is very pretty. What I found out yesterday from swatching is that at first it does not have a lot of color payoff. But you have to really work into it, kind of dig into it, and then you start getting shades. Like that's how my pinky looks. Rub it in there now. Get nice color. And I think it's a nice, pretty highlight. And I want, I wanted a highlight that was not like the typical golden color. Because I don't really like golden highlights on me. So I wanted to try this. Something kind of like a rose gold. It's not close, but it is pretty shade and I like it. Next, from Catrice Cosmetics, I got this liquid metal long-lasting cream eyeshadow. And this is in the shade Daily Dose of Rose. I've never tried a cream eyeshadow, at least not like this. So I'm kind of intrigued to see how it works on my skin. As you can tell from that, it is very pigmented. Very pigmented. It has a nice sheen, and I think it's such a pretty color. It's not like a rose gold. It's more on the goldish side than the rose gold. But I think it's very pretty, and I cannot wait to try this. Also from Catrice Cosmetics, I got this vitamin lip treatment. And it says it has more than 80% vitamin E. And when I see something with vitamin in it, I feel like it works really good. So I'm kind of tempted to test this and see if it actually helps my lips. Because sometimes my lips need an extra dose of love, and I feel like this can give it to it. Also, this smells so good. And I think this is kind of just sheer. I don't think it has any color to it. Uh, it does actually have a little bit of color to it. So I cannot wait to try this. I might just use it as a top coat or on those days where I don't really want to feel like I'm wearing like a lot of makeup, just a simple everyday look, I'll probably use this. From e.l.f., I got one of their lip lacquers in the shade Burgundy. This is what it looks like. And I love a dark lip. Like, that's one of my favorite. Like, that's one of my obsessions. And so, that's what it looks like. I'll swatch it. That is the shade right there. And I think it's just a pretty dark red burgundy color. And I cannot wait to wear this. Kind of matching my shirt a little bit. I should have worn that today. Next, from Essence, I have the Long Lasting Eye Pencil in Black Fever. And honestly, Essence has some really great products that are very inexpensive. Watch this. One pass. Look how dark that is. Plus, it's retractable. And Essence has really affordable products. That's what I like about Essence. Plus, I need another black eyeliner. And because I can never sharpen my eye pencil to where it actually wants to work anymore, I like getting retractable ones. So, I'm in love with this. Next, I got this K Beauty Survival Kit. And it has seven products in it and it costs nineteen dollars and ever since i started using a lot of facial masks like the sheet mask i've gotten into a lot of k beauty and so when i saw this kit i was like i do want to try it and so i'm just going to quickly go through the products in this kit you will get 10 cotton swabs from botanic farm you will get this mineral peel face non-abrasive face and makeup prep exfoliant and brightening agents from ORG Skincare. You will get this What Happened Last Night sheet mask from Leaders in Solution. You will get 30, basically their makeup remover wipes from Lobotica. You'll get some cleansing water from Back to Iceland. And I'll quickly open this. That's what this looks like. And I'm thinking it's kind of like a micellar water. But yeah, so you'll get that. 
you will get this Return Metzera Cream from Skin RX Lab. It's a nice small travel size. And last but not least, you will get this Botanic Farm Grain Ferment Cleansing Sherbet, which I smelled it yesterday and I have not gotten a smell off it yet. I'm excited to try that kit and I probably will do a separate video on that just because there's a lot of products and I just want people to know exactly what they're getting because you could buy a kit and all the products would be crap and then you spent all your money on it. So I'm going to do a review on that eventually and let you know if the products are good is it worth your money it's from eco tools i got this facial cleansing brush and this one is not battery operated it's just a put it in your hand wet it clean your face and i want to get one just for travel because my battery operated one is kind of bulky and i just wanted something that was simple i could carry around with me and if i did happen to lose it probably wouldn't be that sad and i am excited to see how this works it's from makeup revolution I got the Golden Bar Chocolate Bar Eyeshadow Palette. And I said it in the video yesterday, and I still cannot remember what brand it is. I think it's Tarte. The Chocolate Bar Palette, this is kind of, this kind of reminds me of it. I think this is kind of what they tried to copy. But unlike the Chocolate Bar Palette, this thing has not one single matte shade at all. I came with this little brush. And this is what the shades look like. And they are all shimmer. Every single darn shade is a shimmer shade. Why? Oh why? I don't know if anybody could use this product, like this palette, just on its own. I don't think I can. Because I think I do, I do like a matte shade to go with my products. So. But other than that, very pigmented. Very, very beautiful and not a lot of fallout and usually oh, honestly again this mirror is amazing I just realized that but yeah not a lot of fallout I think it's a good palette I just wish there was some matte shades and yes it kind of does remind me of the chocolate bar palette the design and everything oh my gosh it kind of smells I don't know maybe it doesn't maybe I made that up but yeah, it does remind me of the chocolate bar palette. Three more products. The first one is from Essence, and it is the Lash Princess Fosh Last Effect Mascara. I saw this on the hashtag Ulta haul where you put pictures of your hauls, and the girls' eyelashes look amazing. And so I like, I definitely gotta give this a try. I'm not wearing it today, but I'm excited to wear it. This is what the wand looks like, and I think you get a nice size in there. And the cute the design is cute it very it really is next from nyx i got the glam lip gloss and this is in the shade cool cat it's nice and sparkly which i've never had like sparkly lips before so i'm excited to try this that's what it looks swatched it's nice pretty and shimmery and so i'm excited to like wear this as a look i feel like this would be a cute look especially if you're going for like a more dramatic makeup look like this will suit it well and the last product is from elf it's another lip lacquer and is in the clear shade if my lips weren't kind of shiny i would try this on over top but i feel like you wouldn't be able to really tell well you could tell a difference but it's not matte so i'm not going to do it but it's just a clear lip lacquer and i probably only use it as a top coat but it says it has vitamin e in it and it's just like that burgundy lip lacquer so it has nice, it's really thick and moisturizing, so I cannot wait to try that. Last but not least, I just got perfume sample. This is from Michael Kors Wonderlust, and that is everything in this haul. This haul was $200, and I got back 17,000 points, which is amazing. I've never gotten that many points in one purchase. So if you like shopping at Ulta, you still have time to use that 20% off coupon if you got it. That's 20% off every single darn thing. So use that coupon. And so I thank y'all for watching. Please tune in for more videos. I have more ideas coming up. And now that I have continuous access to the internet, I would definitely be trying to be more consistent with my videos like I was earlier. So I thank y'all for watching. Please give this two thumbs up. Subscribe, share, comment below any suggestions for videos, any questions about any of the products because I might have been going kind of fast. But yeah, 
I thank y'all for watching. I love every single one of my subscribers and everybody who watches and supports my channel. Thank you so much. And I hope y'all continue to have amazing days because everybody is amazing. Just remember that you are amazing. And I'll see you next time. Bye.